and welcome back to my channel, Torathina, where you haven't heard from me a lot. I have been super duper busy. If you've been following my daily vlog channel, you will know that I am currently living in France. It is temporary, it's only for a couple of weeks, but I was given an opportunity, I couldn't refuse, and I'm currently here. So I've kind of been getting everything sorted and settled, but now I'm finally settled, I guess, and I'm filming some stuff. But it's kind of been hard for me because even though there is a comic shop here, when I went to go, I don't know if it's because they didn't import as much stuff to France, English comics to France, or it was kind of a low week. I haven't been able to pick up any single issues. There was only two that I picked up and I can't find them, but it was um, Deadpool the Duck, which was a mixture of Howard the Duck that I love and Deadpool. And what was the other one? probably rubbish. I remember not being excited. So I haven't been able to read any comics to review them so I thought I would borrow some of my friends comics from France and do a couple of my favourite comic books. So let's begin! In no particular order, number one. Why the Last Man by Brian K. Vaughan is one of the most incredible graphic novels I've ever read and considering I haven't finished this yet it goes a long way to show that it's in my top five. I am a massive fan of what if stories and this story is all about what if every living creature with the XY chromosome just died in an instant. Every man, every male part of species, every man, human, animal who is a man just dies. Except for one man and his pet male monkey called Ampersand. That in itself is brilliant, but the thought that Brian K. Vaughan puts into this comic is insane. The person who is now president was now the secretary of agriculture, and it's just the most powerful woman that was in the government at the time, but she was like 12th or 18th in line to be president. There is only a quarter of the army left because three quarters were men. Something like two thirds of the planes just went out of the sky because the most pilots are male. Weird stuff like that. And let's not forget the whole worrying about our future generations to come. The other thing I love about this comic as well is that the protagonist is, an, is, a, is a bit of a douche. He's not this hero, he doesn't like step up to the plate, he's just this entitled whiny little brat and everyone else has to kind of look after him. I just, I don't want to say much more and I can't because I haven't finished it, I've still got like the last two volumes to read, but it's just amazing and it's brilliant. Number two. Superman Red Sun is another amazing what if. It's by Mark Miller, my boy, and it is incredible. It's all basically about what if Superman landed in Russia instead of America. Nothing else is different except now he's a communist and he is now the enemy of the state, which makes Lex Luthor the hero. You also see a lot of other alternate characters like Batman, I think Green Lantern was it? There was other characters and it's pretty badass. I love it. It's one of my favourite comics of all time. It's the only pop vinyl I still have which is of Superman Red Sun and I just think it's an incredible what if and it's an amazing spin on perspectives and I just think it's brilliant. Number three. Saga is also an incredible story which I've actually done a full review on which I'll put the link below if I can be bothered. <laughs> it's incredible. It's basically that these two planets have been at war for so long they can't even really remember why they're fighting anymore and two opposing people from opposing sides meet, fall in love and have a baby. And unfortunately that baby is a symbol of peace so that can't be allowed to live and they are all on the run from everyone basically. They are wanted across the galaxy now and that's kind of their life. This is an amazing comic as well because this is not for children. There are swear words, there is sex, there is there is some really hard hitting scenes that aren't very nice. It's good and the love is real. They are besotted with each other but they hate each other. They fight and they are mean to each other and they say digs but they apologize and no one else can say anything bad about them because they'll kill them, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant, it's so good. And I've just realised it's another Brian K. Vaughan. I've actually just realised what's coming up in my top five. I am just so predictable. <laughs> Number four. Wolverine, Old Man Logan is quite possibly the 
talk of the town, or was talk of the town when it came out. It was quite an expensive graphic novel, I remember it, or trade paperback, I remember it being about 20, dot, 20 pounds, around that, and everyone who read it had to lend it to someone. Someone lent it to me, I had to lend it to someone, I had to recommend it to someone, I had to make someone else buy it. It's just incredible. It's one of them stories that once you read it, you have to tell someone else to read it. Once again, by Mark Miller, my boy. This is a story about what would happen in the Marvel Universe 50 years after the bad guys have won. Wolverine refuses to fight, but we don't know why until later on in the story. The, oh, the Hulk family, uh, they are these horrible, almost incestuous, mm, vicious, violent thugs and most of the good guys are gone. Most of the good guys are dead for numerous reasons and only few remain for various reasons that we discover. Overall, it's a brilliant piece of writing. It's dark, it's gritty, it's fantastic. And although, once again, the story is very simply changed, it completely turns their world that we know it on its head. And it's fantastic. Number five. And last but no means least, the reason why I'm into comics completely at all, this is where it all began, is Civil War by Mark Miller. <laughs> I've only just realized only two writers are in my top five. <laughs> but this one had to be in my top five because like I said, it's the reason I own a comic shop. It's the reason I like comics. If anyone who's seen the film, it's not really like that. It's effectively kind of slightly in the future where superheroes, there's a lot of them, there is a, 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 an incident that happens and some school kids die and basically civilians are fed up of it. Civilians are fed up of superheroes ruining everything, breaking buildings, demolishing things, just doing whatever they need to do to get the job done. And they go, no, you need to be held accountable for this. And one side, the Tony Stark leads, goes, no, I agree with this, we should be registered. And uh, the other side, which is Captain America, goes, no, I don't agree with this, this isn't right. We are superheroes, we do what we need to do to get the job done. You know, we're good guys, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be checked like this, it's not fair. And there's a big, massive civil war. And we're not talking about eight people in a parking lot like in the film, we're talking every superhero. Every, it's insane, it's crazy, it's messy, it's gritty. Things happen in it you're not expecting. And one thing I loved about it, which is just a testament to how good a writing it is, is every page you're going through, one side you're pro-register, next time you're not, you, you know. You constantly change sides because you agree with both sides and I just, love it. I love the debate. I love the message. I love it all. Well, thank you so much for watching this uh, video, this very, I've already realized, very biased video. There's so many graphic novels I love and I love talking about them and I'm going to do more videos talking about maybe like the top five horror graphic novels I love or romance or superhero, you know. If you like this style of video, please let me know. I think it's kind of the first one I've ever done, so let me know if you like it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. I'm gonna try and upload more regularly now that I've got into the flow of things. But yeah, right now I'm in Paris and I'm enjoying life very much. Working hard, but enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.